Here's a quick case of a parotid mass in a teenage girl. This is a palpable mass in a 14-year-old girl. Look at how irregular the margins are with strands of enhancement extending away from the mass. It maybe looks a little more well-defined on the T1-weighted image. The T2-weighted image is bright, which is, I guess, a little reassuring. I mean, a dark T2 would be a bad sign, usually indicating high cellular density from malignancies, but still overall a very concerning appearance. I found this quite worrisome. In addition to salivary malignancies, I was worried about rhabdomyosarcoma because I always worry about that in children with masses anywhere near the skull base. This infiltrative look here, very concerning. What would you call this? Well, before the patient went to biopsy, there was one other entity we talked about, and that's a Kuttner tumor. Kuttner tumor is a mass-like response to chronic salivary inflammation. Thankfully, that turned out to be correct. Biopsy showed only chronic inflammation. Don't forget Kuttner tumors in your differential of salivary masses, even those with an aggressive imaging appearance.